Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are once again summoning for the 7th Annie Part 2 LRs, the Kaoken Goku and the Great Ape Vegeta, because as you guys might know, yesterday's video did not go so well for us. I mean, it's not to say we had bad luck, because we really didn't. I pulled 5 LRs in like 650 stones or 700 stones, so a pretty good rate of LRs to stones. It's just none of those LRs were the new Goku or Vegeta, so hopefully this one goes a little bit differently, and uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. First multi, I'm feeling pretty good today. I feel like the luck has had a chance to replenish and we might be starting off here with a fusion, guys. We might be. Okay, here we go. Group summon. You guys know how it works. Plot your games, plot your devices, whatever you use to play Dokkan. And we're gonna get it in three, two, one. Let it rip. Oh, all right, so no fusion. No fusion. They had me for a second. I saw the Vegeta. I saw the Beerus. And, uh,. I had hope. I had hope, but it's okay. We don't need a fusion, right? We don't need animations to pull LRs. It's just nice to get the guarantee. But anyways, first multi, not expecting too much here, um, but I know they got something good in store for us later in this session. So it's fine. We've got a bar lot, good unit, good easy A. All right, so that's the first multi, nothing crazy. Second multi, moving right along. Here we go, pulling down. No Zeno. I don't know why I expect to see Zeno so often now. I think it's because on JP, or sorry, uh, this is JP, on Global for the uh, Tech Androids banner, I saw the Zeno animation so many times. It was like three Zeno animations in like four multis or something like that, so. I guess I'm just a little bit spoiled at this point, and I gotta realize that Xano animations aren't really that common. I just had some ridiculously stupid luck on the Tech Androids banner, and it's not something that I should really expect to see that much. But nonetheless, I wanna see it, guys. I really wanna see it. Okay, just 18 here. I'm gonna pull down again. And still, man, I'm expecting to see that Xano every time. Um, yo, by the way, uh, let me know if this is something that you guys have been thinking about recently, because a bunch of people have actually mentioned it to me, like on Discord, in my DMs. Um, they were saying how, like, this Annie kind of feels like they're setting it up to be the last Annie of the game, right? Because, like... There's just like so many, I guess, themes going on in this one anniversary. Like usually they pick a saga from Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball GT and stick to that. And the entire anniversary is just based off that one saga. Or maybe sometimes there's two sagas. But for this one, it's like all the franchises or all the series are in one. We got GT, we got Super, and we also got Dragon Ball Z. We just need some Dragon Ball content, which could be coming in part three so some people are like this feels like almost a farewell to the player base which obviously i don't think that's the case <laughs> but i understand where these people are coming from i think what's more likely is just the fact that if you guys hear some sounds in the background it's my dad sneezing <laughs> it's kind of scary but it's okay Ooh. oh okay i thought it was gonna be a fake out man because i saw the Goten and Trunks combo, I didn't want to mention it, I didn't want to draw attention to it because I didn't want to get myself excited for that. But we did get a combo, so there is a chance. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I think it's more likely that we're just getting like, you know, all these nostalgia trips because it's the seventh anniversary. And if you guys didn't know, seven is a very significant number in Japan. It's like the you know, luckiest number. I guess it's a lucky number everywhere, but especially in Japan, it's like this very important number. So the fact that we're on the 7th anniversary, it would make sense that they want to make this the most special anniversary, 
Another combo. All right. Zeno? <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Um. So yeah, uh, I didn't. I didn't mean to scare anybody. You know, I don't think Dokkan's going away anytime soon. It's just. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. I did not see that coming. I, I know we got the combo, right? But I'm so used to getting the combo and then just getting like trash, getting some random featured Goku or Vegeta. Okay, wow. Um, that's one. <laughs> that's one out of two, guys. <sighs> oh yeah, Dokkan's definitely not going away. I'm gonna make sure it does not go away. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but but just trust me, guys. I'll hit up the Bandai people. I'll be like, guys, give us at least five more years of Dokkan because we love this game too much. We can't. I mean, I think some people would legitimately have like mental breakdowns if Dokkan got shut down like Naruto Blazing did, uh, I think last year. And a bunch of gacha games actually that came out around the same time as Dokkan are, you know, either shut down or on their way. To being shut down like there are some gacha games that are still sticking around but they're not doing very well um namely like i don't think the bleach one what is it called again uh bleach brave souls is it i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't you know looked up the numbers but i don't think that game is doing very well and there are some you know other gacha games that are like og gacha games that are i believe on their way out but dokkan is just Oh, back to back LRs. Back to ah! There it is. Yo, you see, you see why I expect to see Zen all the time now? It's because this 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 actually happens like pretty frequently for us, man. And I'm I'm not trying to flex, right? I'm not trying to you know, <laughs> show off or anything like that, but it's just been a thing recently. I don't know what it is. I don't know like if somebody in my household performs some rituals, or... I, I can't explain it, man, but it's just lots of Xenos recently. Lots and lots of Xenos. Now, I really hope this was for the Goku. Because then we would be set. Then we will be done. I'll probably still do a few more summons, just because... We haven't really done that many pulls, but... Then I wouldn't have to worry about anything else, right? I can just enjoy my Goku and Vegeta. And whatever comes next, whatever else we pull would just be gravy. So, Goku, come on. <sighs> okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. A Vegeta dupe. That's fine. I've always said, man, since the details came out, I said I want this Vegeta more. So I'm not... I'm not sad about this, by any means. A dupe for Vegeta is amazing, it's perfect, a Goku would have just been more perfect, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, um, yeah, I totally forgot what I was saying now, like everything I was saying up until the Zeno animation, I forgot, hopefully it comes back to me, but let's uh, do a few more multis here, I think at least two are in order, oh, freaking 18. And, and Boo just had to come in last minute. If you guys didn't know, when, when Whis just comes in by himself, it's a guaranteed Whis animation. If you don't have anybody else except for Whis, I'm not sure if it applies to Beerus too, because I haven't seen that, but I have had you know multiple Whis animations where Whis flies in just by himself. Nobody else, no uh, Beerus, no, you know, Go or no, there's always Goku. No, you know, Trunks or 18 or 17 or anything like that. Just a Goku and a Whis flying, guaranteed Whis rewind animation. So, for a second, for a second, I thought we got that. But I guess that would be too crazy if we got three of them back to back to back like that. <laughs> but two back to back is still pretty nice. All right, so this time, once again, they almost had me. It was Vegeta and Whis flying in. That's a guaranteed fusion. But then if other people join, then it's not a guaranteed fusion. It still could be a fusion, though. Yeah, no fusion. <sighs> it's 
okay, man. It's okay. Yo, a couple of back-to-back -back Super Saiyan 1s, though, or at least like a bunch of Super Saiyan 1s I've noticed in this video. Not that I have any grounds to be complaining about animations or complaining about luck. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not trying to do that. It's just Super Saiyan 1s always hurt, man. Super Saiyan 1s are always like... That's like the shaft animation, right? If you get just Super Saiyan 1, like 99% of the time, they're getting garbage. Like this multi right here. That was atrocious. So, yeah. You never want to see that. But it's fine. It's fine. Now I just need to get my Goku. And I'll be on my way. Game. Come on, just give me the, just give me one Goku. And then we can move on to part three. Was I talking about part three? Maybe that's what it was before I pulled the last Vita. Um, I do think part three will probably feature something to do with Dragon Ball GT, or at least like, sorry, not GT, um, Dragon Ball, like the original Dragon Ball. Uh, because we've had GT, we've had uh, Super, and now we have Dragon Ball Z in part two. So it only makes sense that they show some love to the OG Dragon Ball series, right? At least that's what I would like. I think that'd be a nice way to um, close the loop, I guess, and just like bring all of the different uh, series, you know, of Dragon Ball into this anniversary. So yeah, that'd be dope. Maybe a free-to-play uh, LR, mm, actually. No, I don't see them doing a second free to play LR for the anniversary, but just, you know, something, even like a support memory or something like that, just to show respect, you know, pay homage to the OG Dragon Ball, um, would be fine with me. Panties, come on. <sighs> no panties there. All right, so I think we're pushing our luck a little bit. <laughs> I think we've used up all the luck that we had for today. So I'm going to do one last multi. Just one more multi after this, and then we're gonna call it for today. All right, um, I'm gonna save the rest of my stones for the next summoning video. Obviously, now that we have Vegeta, I can't leave without Goku, so we will 100% be back, guys. Believe me, we will be back. Last multi. Hopefully, it's something good. If not, no big deal. No big deal. All right, pulling down. Did we have Vegeta flying? I don't think so. I think we had Beerus. We had Beerus, Krillin, and Yamcha, was it? So for the last multi, guys, we're going to do one more group summon because I got some luck. If you guys want some luck, if you guys need some luck, then feel free to go ahead and take some with this group summon in three, two, one. Let it rip. Beast rewind. In play. Unlikely. But possible. Ah, I really thought we were gonna end on a waste rewind, man. That would have been crazy. That would have been crazy. All right. Ah, let's see it. Let's see it. What's this last multi gonna bring us? What? <gasps> okay. All right, clearly this is... Oh, this... <laughs> All right, uh, I did not see that coming. I did not, see... I thought, I thought the Vegeta was the last one actually, and then Boom, surprise UI Goku. Out of nowhere. Wrong Goku, but also the right Goku, because I do need this UI Goku on this account. So that is 100% fine with me. That is 100% okay. This luck is... It's like the complete opposite. No, it's not the opposite of the last video, because we did once again pull a lot of LRs in the last video, but this is like much more in the direction that I wanted, you know, like the units that I wanted. Three Vegetas, guys? Three Vegetas in, what, 500 stones? Maybe 550? And then a UI Goku too, like, come on. <laughs> come on. 
if we're not gonna get the uh, Kaioken Goku, the UI Goku is a pretty nice consolation prize, I would say. That That's a pretty nice consolation prize, I can't complain about that. But, you know, a wise man once told me, actually many wise people told me before, you don't end on an LR. You just don't do that. So, <laughs> we're gonna do one more here. And this will be the final summon of the video, okay. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be garbage, so that's fine. Got a Trunks, by himself, no Goten, no combo. And, uh, I'm okay with whatever we pull here, it doesn't even matter. It, it really, really does not matter. If we get Goku, amazing. If we don't get Goku, fine, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm winning in this video, like it's... It's all gravy from here, man. It's all gravy from here. All right. So I think uh, this is gonna be one of those cooldown multis. It was, and to give you guys a quick look at uh, what we pulled in like 600 stones. Three Vegetas, a UI Goku, and you know, a couple of other things. Nothing too exciting outside of the LRs, I mean, the uh, Topo is decent if you have Jiren, LR Jiren, which I don't, so not going to be using him much for now. Uh, what else? The Barlot's good. The Barlot's good. The uh, Pandel's good. Um, once I get a chance. Oh, also the Celza. So we can definitely build like a Dragon Ball Fusion team or at least have the pieces towards building one. But aside from that, yo, three Vegetas, man. <laughs> three Vegetas and UI Goku. That's good enough for me. And that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's summons. I definitely enjoy these summons a lot more than yesterday's, that's for sure. And uh, we'll be back for Kalkin Goku in the next video. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.